and I welcome you back to the Debrinic channel. And before we get going on this Lake Powell update, I want to talk about these guys that are paddling down the Mississippi River. I went down this morning and got some footage for my good buddy Escape with Jay, and he is covering this. So if you guys want to check this out, these guys are going down the Mississippi River trying to beat a world record. And as of this morning, when they pulled into Alton, Illinois, right after this, they pulled into the marina to take a shower, whatnot, travel down the river. They are cooking. They are at literally 27 hours ahead of schedule for the world record so they only had one lock through and as of right now they are through that lock and now they will not have any more locks to restrict them so they made good timing through that and go check out escape with jay he talks about this in great detail and now let's get back to lake pal here is your lake pal update 2021 2022 and 2023 and here is the lake we have it going down in 21 going down in 22 and check this out 2020 23 we are up 20 feet it was 3520 now we are over 3540 at lake powell this is strictly a lake powell update and we continue to roll on here as we roll out to the inflows and the outflows here at lake powell you can see that your inflows are currently 65504 wow that's just insane incredible and that is nuts and we continue to roll and your outflows are currently 17,954 which is up from where it was just yesterday it was at 17,500 yesterday and it's 17,954 incredible and we continue to roll on Lake Palace up 14.57 and 14 and like I said 20 overall since the low that's pretty incredible wow what a crazy day and then furthermore we have the percentage of capacity it was at 24 on my last video now we are at 27.29 so this thing has come up literally almost three percent points since we have last spoken and that is incredible so this is great news for Lake Powell and once again we continue to roll on your water level today is 3542.97 feet MSL Friday May 19 2023 at 9 a.m. the level is 157.03 feet below full pool of 3700 and changes since yesterday this thing has come up 1.36 feet so that's good news for that and we continue to roll on on here and before we go on any further, I want to talk about the upcoming rainfall that's supposed to happen in the area here. Gunnison down here, we're talking about 0.38 according to the European down here by Lake Navajo, 1.58. But if you go over to the GFS, they are talking a whole different thing here. They are talking about a ton of precipitation here, 1.68. Over by Gunnison, 0.7. Glenwood, 0.35. Vail over here, 0.54. And you get the idea there's some rain coming we go the next five days and it lights up even more you're talking possibly 1.73 there is a good swath possibly coming i have been talking about this for a week and that's good news now the european model is not showing near as much in that area they're still showing a little less than an inch which is still good but the gfs which has been on fire is showing 2.04 there and we go the next 10 days you can see that it kind of slows down after that so still some some rain coming so more rain coming and then also with this rain possibly coming in the next several days we have to go check out the river levels and you got some action going on in the Colorado and it's pretty incredible because usually you never see that in the Colorado and we're going to go check that out right now as you can see over here like in Grand Junction you can see that the water levels fluctuate between 12 you got action in it you got 12.24 right now 12.49 is the top 19 is the record you're nowhere near the record you come down here you have state line you have 13.4 to 13.69 a lot of precipitation there we scoot down here you can see in Dolores River here you, you got flood stage going on you got a 15.37 15.4 is high a major 16 you come over here the Colorado near Cisco you got action 14.9 it's going to get up to 16.3 it's all over the place it's definitely wavy as you can tell so good news for sure and we will take it you you can see down here even that runs into Lake Mead that they are near flood stage. They got 4.45 and this is Seaver River near Hatch, Utah, and you can see that it's up and down. It's got moderate flooding going on. You got all this flooding that's going on and you got a lot of precipitation going downhill. It's good news. 
and we will continue to roll back out to the graphs and finish up this Lake Powell update next. Now we are at Lake Powell and we are going to check out the last three years. 3,700 is your full pool. 2021 the level was 3,560.40. Last year was 3,526.05. This year we're at 3,542.97 feet. Inactive pool is 3,490 and dead pool is 3,000. 1370 and we go out to see what is going on the last year and you can see that Lake Powell is up 16.92 feet from one year ago. Lake Powell is down 17.43 feet from two years ago. Lake Powell is 52.97 feet from an active pool. That's a lot higher. We were down to 30 so we've gained quite a bit at one point in time. Lake Powell is 172.97 feet from Deadpool and that is all I have for today. Thank you guys for stopping by. My daughter's graduating so I need to make this fairly quick as we got a busy day ahead of us. You guys have a blessed day, and we will see you on the next one. God bless.